Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, back with a second video for the Secrecy Deck that I honestly have not come up with a name for yet. I'm working on it. Uh, I am going up against Nightmare Passage Through Mirkwood, which is, I know, a little bit out of order, but the subreddit is doing a quest of the week, and it's Passage Through Mirkwood, and I honestly could not play this deck against regular Passage Through Mirkwood without feeling incredibly guilty. So, we're gonna see how this goes, uh, because Ungoliant Spawn at the wrong time will absolutely destroy me. First things first, this is my opening hand. I'm gonna keep it because Double Timely Aid gives us a better chance than most anything of getting Furial. And then I have to set up one additional card. Okay, that just surges into Driven by Shadow, which does nothing because we're in setup. All right, that's not too bad. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna save this because I don't want to accidentally pull any more allies out of the deck. And I don't really have anything that I want to discard right now. Sorry, I should have flipped that. So let's quest. Good news is my threat is pretty low. Actually, no, let's, before we quest, we're gonna play the first timely aid. This will make a pretty big difference. Okay, Jubair is great, so we're gonna take him. Uh, he can save me a lot of trouble with shadow effects. I thought about taking Kelduin Traveler so that I could peek at the top card of the encounter deck, but I think I'm okay to not. And now we quest. There's three in the staging area, so I'm gonna send Four, raising my threat by one and adding a resource to Theodrid. Uh, no, you know what? Let's lean into the blowout potential. I'm gonna send six, and before we stage, I'm gonna play a second timely aid. Oof. All right, uh, this time we will pull out Kelduin Traveler. Which is gonna be fun, because it's gonna let me know how screwed I am right now. All right, Enchanted Stream, totally good. Straight back on the top. So I sent six, there's three in the staging area. Whoop, Enchanted Stream is now five. I'll make one progress. Do I travel to Old Forest Road, or do I travel to Enchanted Stream? Uh, could I even kill this forest spider? No. So, all right, uh, end of staging. Let me play Darren's Runes. One, two. I can discard one of these cards. I think it's gonna be Aristor again. Uh, we ended up with a lot of chaff at the end of the previous game, which is unfortunate, but he is definitely not that necessary. All right, and then I travel to Enchanted Stream, which is gonna stop me from drawing any cards which hopefully will be fine. Not gonna engage the forest spider and we'll move on to the next round. And we'll pretend I didn't see that because that gets to be on top of the deck. And we'll play a quick beam. Uh, I'm gonna save this Theodred resource so that I can steward next round. I am gonna have to raise my threat though by questing with Glorfindel again. And we're definitely still leaning into the blowout potential. So here's eight. Uh, I'm gonna put this resource on Theodrid. Spiders of Mirkwood. Totally fine, even though it is a little bit awful. All right, I sent eight. There's six in the staging area. That is two progress, just enough to clear Enchanted Stream. I can. Travel to the Old Forest Road, which allows me to ready a character. This, I need six to kill them, so it needs to be Glorfindel. Uh, I should have raised my threat by one for questing with Glorfindel. And I have to engage the Spiders of Mirkwood. It's currently attacking at five. 
Ooh. That's really annoying. Alright, um... So when I defend, this is going to go up to 6 attack, because I will have 4 exhausted characters. That would kill Gorfindel, it will kill Jubair, also kill Quickbeam. Hmm. Let me defend with Quickbeam, and I'm going to accept that this is going to kill him. Okay, Abandon Camp means that that takes nothing, and I can swing back for five, which is just a little shy. Uh, and next round, I can be in a bit better place to deal with that attack. So, moving on. This is funny now. That's not what I meant. Uh, two for a Steward of Gondor. I will play the Rod of the Steward, for sure. 1-2 draws me a card. I don't really want it to be resourceful, but I'll take it. 1-2-3-4. Um, yeah, let's put that resourceful on Theodrid so that I get a little more fuel for the Rod of the Steward. Fail to quest this round, I will have to engage the forest spider, which is probably not that big of a deal. I could discard Falco in order to drop my threat, which might be worth it. Yeah, alright. I'm going to skip questing this round. I will send zero. Up against four in the staging area, we'll make my threat 27. I will discard Falco Boffin to make my threat 20. And now I don't have to deal with this forest spider. Spiders of Mirkwood is going to make an attack, which I will defend with Jubair, discarding the shadow effect. I'm still really hoping, really, really hoping to see <laughs> Ungolian spawn as a shadow. That's all right. Uh, Jubair takes no damage. And I only need to do one to kill these guys, so that's Glorfindel. And we're on to the next round. That is a pretty nice card for this. Now five leadership resources. Uh, let's play Elrond's Council early, dropping my threat down to 18. I can spend one of these resources for a resourceful uh, yeah, let's stack up Theodrid so that I don't really have to commit him to the quest anymore. I can play a Rivendell Scout for free, and 1, 2, 3, 4, Faramir. It's 4 currently in the staging area. Let me send Glorfindel, Kelduin Traveler, Rivendell Scout. My threat goes up to 19. I will Faramir immediately. So we have four, seven, eight, nine committed to the quest, and only the Rivendell Scout will die if I get Ungoliant Spawn, which I don't. That is six in the staging area, so I make one, two, three progress, clearing the old forest road. Abandoned Camp is gross. Look, that's just gross. Uh, so we're going to leave that in the staging area forever. Hmm, I can optionally engage the forest spider. Yeah, all right, let's do it. I'm going to optionally engage the forest spider. It gets a shadow card. Jubair defends and is going to discard it, taking no damage. Theodrid on the crackback puts one point of damage on the forest spider. Uh, it's going to make this the slowest forest spider in the history of forest spiders. But I think that is okay. And next round. 
And Thaedra's back up to five resources again. So we'll spend two to draw a card. I'm at 20 threat, so I can definitely play a Kelduin Traveler. Looking at this, Ungoliant's Brood. That card is not so bad. There's nothing I can do about it anyway, but... All right, take two more to draw another card. Well, this... <laughs> <laughs> this could be better. Uh, all right, let's commit to the quest. I know I'm going to get another two threat, so I can send two Kelduin Travelers and a Faramir to make my willpower six. Mongolian's Brood makes the staging area six. So, uh, nothing happens. I'm not going to optionally engage one of these enemies because I don't want to defend them. So Forest Spider will make another attack. Jubair will discard the shadow. Oh, glad that's out. Uh, and Glorfindel and Theodrid can get rid of a Forest Spider. Okay, not, not terrible so far. Uh, next round. I need a song in order to take advantage of that. Thadred is up to six resources, so we'll spend two to draw a card. We'll spend two to draw a card. And we will spend two to draw a card. Okay, Sneak Attack Bayorn is really nice. That is definitely worth remembering. I don't have any idea what's on top of the encounter deck right now, so I'm going to quest a little bit heavier. Uh, Glorfindel and the two travelers boosted by... Faramir is 10 willpower, up against 6 in the staging area. Alright, up against 8 in the staging area, I will make 2 progress. Uh, I'm going to take the Dogolder Beastmaster. Uh, it has the potential for a shadow effect, which could be bad, but I can discard one of them. Yeah. Alright, so he's gonna have one shadow, which Jubair will discard. And he's gonna get his second shadow, which is nothing. So, no damage. Three attacking back. One, two. Uh, yeah, that is fine. Oh, I meant to travel to Enchanted Stream. Did I? No, I meant to not travel to Enchanted Stream because I really need to draw and get something better in my hand. Anything better in my hand. Okay, so next round. That's not much better, but okay. One, two, three, four extra resources. Uh, I'm gonna spend two to draw a card. Discarded Falco too early. Spend two more to draw a card. All right, welcome to the lore parade. I am once again going to quest for 10. Necromancer's Pass. That actually wouldn't be too bad for me to travel to, possibly. Eventually. Uh, okay, so that is nine in the staging area. I will make one progress. At this point, I will travel to Enchanted Stream. Uh, mostly because the random discard here could hit some very key cards, which I don't really want to deal with. So, uh, I'm not going to engage anything. Combat, we get two shadow effects on the Dogolder Beastmaster. I will play a sneak attack to put Bayorn into play, who will defend this Beastmaster attack. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so he's attacking at four. Four is fine because Baron will take one damage and be completely cleared later. And we can swing back, doing enough to kill the Beastmaster. I have a lot of threat to go before I have to engage this Ungoliant's Brood, but I will probably kill it next round with 
Bayorn again. Just to get some threat out. I can't draw cards this round, which is a little unfortunate, but I think I will be able to make that work. And we move on. Well, good to know that one's not going to be helpful. One, two, three, four. Up to five resources. Uh, might as well. One, two, play a Rivendell Scout. I need seven to kill Ungoliant's Brood, uh, which I can get just from Sneak Attack Bayorn. So I should be able to quest a little bit aggressively here. I will send three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. Because there's seven in the staging area, and I don't think I will clear flies and spiders, but I also don't think it will matter very much. Ooh, that's a little nasty. All right, four, seven, eleven against me. I make three progress. One, two, three. Uh, now I can pay two to draw a card, and it's the steward that I don't really want. And I will travel to the Glade of the Spawn. And just really hope that there's not a spider next round. Optionally engage Ungoliant's Brood, which gets a shadow. You can have Jubair defend, discarding this shadow. And I will sneak in Bayorn who is going to use his Enrage ability to bank himself 8 attack, killing Ungoliant's Brood, and bouncing back to my hand. Ah, unfortunately I just realized something a little bad. We will deal with that in a second. Ungoliant's Brood is until the end of the round your cards don't exhaust, so we're a little uh, little light this round. I will spend two to draw myself a card. Oh, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. I will play a Gandalf, drawing myself three cards. One, two, three. One for a Song of Wisdom, finally on Theodrid, which will allow me to play this Darren's Runes, drawing two and discarding an extra Steward of Gondor. I will finally have Light of Alinor more than two-thirds of the way through my deck. Okay, so next round is going to be good. This round is going to be awful. I'm going to quest for four with Gandalf, revealing a Forest Flies. All right, that is going to raise my threat by five up to 30, but it's not a spider. That's important. I don't make any progress though, so that kind of stinks. And I have to engage the forest flies, which is going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Could be worse. I get a shadow effect. And I will defend with Theodrid. Okay. One attack means no damage, so we are actually fine with that. <sighs> okay. Gandalf goes away at the end of the round. We refresh. I get one, two, three, four extra resources. I finally play Light of Valinor. Uh, one, two, three, four. I am going to play Timely Aid. Cut stuff like that comes out. There's Ferial, who I was hoping to get much earlier. But I don't mind paying four for it. Mm, I maybe should have played Asphaloth instead, but that is a mistake that will have to persist until next round. So we will quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make it uh, save these guys. So three, and I'll use. Oh, I'm just gonna recount this all over again with the Faramir boost. So four, ten, fourteen, and I get the option of discarding this first card. 
Uh, we are down to 16 in the encounter deck, so the Ungolian spawn potential is much higher than it used to be. And I'm going to take that. I have no choice. It's not Ungolian spawn, so it has to stay. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's skip that and reveal an extra one because I feel slightly lucky. And that worked out okay. Uh, I still get to keep my travelers. Uh, all right, so my 14 up against seven in the staging area is seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just enough to move on to stage two, which thankfully does not have any random text or card reveals or anything like that. I'm not going to deal with any of these locations, so we're just going to leave it. Uh, Forest Flies is going to make an attack, which Jubair will defend, discarding this shadow. And what, I need three to kill it, so there's Gorfindel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are doing a lot better than we were a round ago. So, on to the next round. I get one, two, three, four extra resources which I am going to use to finally play as Asphaloth. Uh, and I am going to spend one for Heed the Dream. Looking at the top five cards of this deck. Uh, let me take this Warden of Healing. And I'm not going to kick her to search the rest of my deck. I will spend two, put out a Warden of Healing. We got uh, a good amount of damage here, and I would like to be able to clear it. I don't think I've played all my sneak attacks. Nope, there's still one sneak attack left, so that's good to know for the next Heed the Dream. And let's quest. I'm gonna send the same bunch as last time for 14. Do I wanna do that? Send a little less. Uh, there's only going to be four in the staging area, so I'm going to send eight. Okay, Glade of the Spawn doesn't bother me too much, because I can do one, two to clear out Necromancer's Pass. I sent eight, eight in the staging area. No progress, everything is fine. I will travel to Glade of the Spawn. And I will heal both of my Keldewin Travelers just to get them out of the danger zone if I need them to quest. Um, no, let's leave one of those and heal the damage off Jubair instead. That is probably more useful. Okay, next round. I don't mind Elrond's Council. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm going to spend one of these to play a Heed the Dream. Hmm. Take another Warden of Healing. And I will spend three to look at the rest of my deck. And pull out this sneak attack, like I mentioned. And at this point, I think I will... No, let's save these so that I can sneak attack a Gandalf if I decide I need it. I'm going to send 8 to the quest again, and I'll make it 9 with Elrond's Council. Dropping my threat down to 30. I want to clear this right away. Eyes of the Forest. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, but it only hits Sneak Attack, so okay. I'm gonna make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Still need to make one more in order to progress, and I am not gonna clear these abandoned camps because, quite frankly, they're gonna kill a lot of stuff. Most likely. Uh, okay, so, use these two resources to draw a card, and I will heal one, two. And we'll move on to the next round. 
Getting my five extra resources. I looked at this deck and I don't think there's anything terribly exciting in here, but I'm still gonna spend two to draw a card. Oh, that's pretty good though. Uh, okay, one, two, I'll play another Warden of Healing. One, two, three, four. Treebeard. And I need to quest, so let's send Gorfindel Thirial for six, and I can choose to boost them with Faramir if I need it. That's fine, totally fine. I send six up against six, no big deal. Uh, let me travel to the Great Forest Web, exhausting Theodrid. I can heal two characters and heal one more and move on to the next round. Get my four extra resources, play a Daron's Runes, one, two, uh, discard a third Asphaloth. Uh, I will spend one of these to put an elf stone on Great Forest Web. I will probably Asphaloth to make sure I clear it, because that should be no problem. Tree should have one resource, which is mostly irrelevant. And I don't really need to do anything else, so let's one, two, three, four, put, uh, that's a Song of Wisdom, put an extra resourceful on Theodrid. So, you know, we'll just casually get six resources next round. Uh, I'm in a quest for six again, right off the bat. Hummerhorns is fine. It's not Ungoliant spawn, it's fine. So, up against five, I would make one progress. And then Asphaloth, one, two. <laughs> it's going to clear the Great Forest Web triggering Elf Stone and allowing me to put Bayorn into play for real. Uh, Hummerhorns. All right, well, can't do anything about Hummerhorns. We just need to finish the quest before I get to 40 threat. So let's hit the next round. Five extra resources. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf is going to drop my threat, just to be sure. And no, you know what? Gandalf can kill the Hummerhorns. <laughs> I don't need to draw the cards. There's four left in my deck, uh, and they're not super helpful. All I really need to do now is prepare for Ungoliant Spawn. So we're going to quest again for six. Ah, do I want to make that more? Let's make it ten, just to guarantee that I clear. All right, backtrack is going to pull the Hummerhorns back out and surge. Uh, actually, no. Uh, I can discard this with Furial which I will do, because if I get Ungoliant Spawn, it would have surged into that anyways. So what do we get? King Spider! Oh, this is like the least offensive encounter card. All right, so I sent 10 up against six. I make four progress, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go to the stage that requires me to kill the spider, uh, just for fun. I don't remember if it's this one. It is, perfect. There we go. All right, Ungoliant spawn triggers. These characters are still committed to the quest, but they all have more than two willpower, so everything is fine. None of them need to be discarded. I am not gonna travel or anything crazy like that. I just have to engage all the spiders. So, Ungoliant spawn gets a shadow, King Spider gets a shadow. I did exhaust a character for that King Spider. This is fun, actually. Uh, Jubair will defend Ungoliant Spawn because it is not unique. 
allowing me to discard this shadow card. He will take two damage. Treebeard can defend the King Spider. Take no damage. And now I need to do some math. Uh, I get eight from Bayorn. Plus five from my heroes is enough to kill Angolian spawn. And just Treebeard standing up and swinging back kills the King Spider. And that is Nightmare Passage Through Mirkwood with a little bit of luck about not seeing Angolian spawn too early. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.